I mean, Wreck-It Ralph isn't quite retro yet, but... It looks 8-bit. That's about as retro as my t-shirts go at the moment. Either way, this unboxing... I'm gonna smash it. <laughs>
I need some shades. Although I'm pretty sure summer has ended for the UK. <laughs> let's let's open these up. I'm pretty sure summer has been and gone. <laughs> it has been pissing down on and off the last week or two over here in the UK. 100% UV protection. Could have used these for the eclipse yesterday. Boom. Guys, how do I look in shades? Retro! <laughs> That's the correct answer, right. T-shirt and one more item. Should I take them off or wear them for the rest of the video? Blue steel. <laughs> I think I'm going to wear them. <laughs> that is... Right. I'm pretty sure it is a Mario... Right, okay, it is. Super Mario large figure collection. So... Oh, no, wait. Is it going to be in the car? I don't think these are going to be in the car. So I got a toad one last time. Who have I got? I want, right, okay, I want either Toad, Donkey Kong, or Bowser. Who have I got? I'm, I'm bet, I bet it's Mario or Luigi. No, nah, it's Toad, yeah! Oh my god, quick, open it up! <laughs> Little mushroom head, he is welcome. Come on, come out. Come to me. Yeah, look at him. That is well cool. Guys, boom. That is cool. I'm glad I got towed. There we go. That is cool. I like that. Goodbye, Scarlet. <laughs> Toad can go there now. Right, what else we got? Comic? No, not comic. That's That'll be the Z-Box magazine. So let's put that there. A tin. A tin sign. Right. Oh, it's Marvel again. So, let's see. Is it a good one? Oi! Spider-Man! With great power comes great response. That is cool. I like that. So I've had a few science, I've had a few tins before. I bought a, I bought an Arkham Asylum one. And then, what other one? Did I get another one? I'm pretty sure I did. I got a Batman one, didn't I, in a previous box? I'm pretty sure I got a Dark Knight one. But that is well cool. With great power comes great responsibility. I really like that. I really do like that. That is going in the background. Where's it going? <laughs> Where's it going though? Um, oh crap. <laughs> Sorry Gandalf. You can hold that up for now. There we go. I like that. Right, t-shirt. Let's see. Last item in the box. Right, it's blue? It is blue. Right, I'm taking the glasses off for this, guys. It is blue. Boom. Is it good? Is it good? Right, retro. What could it be? I'm pretty sure there was f four things. Captain Scarlet, Marvel. What were the other two? Might have been Mario was one of them. I can't remember. Right, but guys, is it good? Is it nice? Am I going to like it? Let's see. What is that? Right, let me work this out, guys. What is it? Uh, what is it? Is it... What is it? <laughs> is it Blade Runner or something? What is it? Guys, let me know what that t-shirt is. What is it? Yukon? Is that an owl down in the bottom corner? I'm pretty sure that's an owl. And you've got a fan. And a unicorn and a bird. TD. I'm pretty sure that's like Blade Runner or something, which I have never seen, by the way, but Blade Runner 2049 comes out soon. Kind of need to see Blade Runner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with that's Blade Runner, but I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, but that is, that's the t-shirt. Right, let's, that's, that's it. Right, let's have a look. 
Retro, the Z-Box magazine. Right, okay. Let's see what the t-shirt is. Okay, right. Captain Scarlet. All about Captain Scarlet. Captain Brown. Who's Captain Brown? Spider-Man. The friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. My boy. All about Spider-Man. That's pretty cool. Danger Mouse! Ah, oh, right, okay. Look, 10% off, limited time only, add danger to your basket. There you go. 10% off, Danger Mouse uh, merchandise. Go. <laughs> That's retro. Fuck me. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, what's in the box? It is! I was right! It's Blade Runner! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Still haven't seen it, though. Right, so everyone is getting the Z-Box exclusive Blade Runner Cyberpunk Landscapes t-shirt that's inspired, yeah. That sentence did not come out right. <laughs> right, let me try again. <laughs> this awesome t-shirt is inspired by the Cyberpunk Landscapes of Blade Runner. There we go. <laughs> this retro shirt evokes dystopian neon future. There you go. Right, and everyone is getting Captain Scarlet Cult Vinyl. This human worm looking thing. Everyone is getting the... Uh... The cool sunglasses. <laughs> everyone is getting the Cherry Pac-Man pin. And everyone is getting the Spider-Man A5 tin sign. Now, out of all those items... Again, I haven't seen Blade Runner. The t-shirt looks cool. I like the pinks, the colours, the neon colours. But out of all of that, the sign is definitely my favourite item. Uh, never watched Captain Scarlet, so don't really know too much about that. Sunglasses are cool as well, as you know. I am a big, big Marvel fanboy. Reboots, remakes and revivals. <laughs> talking of remakes. Okay, guys, right, talking of remakes. I, uh... If you haven't seen it already, I did this sort of discussion on the 4-minute exclusive scene of IT that I got to see before Annabelle Creation. Check out that movie review and check out my discussion. But someone decided I was up at 6 o'clock this morning for clients and I woke up straight away to this comment or an email saying I had a comment. Looked at the comment and some guy was just like negative. He was proper like cap locks and everything. You know, one of those YouTube comments. And I was like... I could, I could buy it, I could buy it, he's, he's trying to hook me in, he's trying to reel me in, I could buy it, but I didn't, and I basically replied with this, <laughs> I'll put a picture here, that, yeah, that's how I, that's how I replied to, a uh, YouTube comments, talking of remakes, <laughs> so yeah, that's how my morning started, hilarious, <laughs> right, retro games in a modern world, so you've got Mario, Sonic, holy shit, I haven't played that in ages. Talking of games, guys, go check out my first gaming video. I played Doom, not the retro one, not the 8-bit uh, one. I uh, I played the remake, if I can say that word. <laughs> uh, go check that out, I'll be linked here in the description below. But I played that, uh, you get to see a cool 8-bit gamer intro. I've got a different intro for my game videos, so go check that out. Movies that correctly predicted the future. Alright, okay. Minority Report, rounded UI designs and gesture controls can now be found in a huge amount of modern technology. Damn! Personalised retargeting and digital billboards from Blade Runner. Man, I think I need to see Blade Runner. Is it any good, guys? I've heard really good things, but I don't want to see it and feel like it's dated. Is it gonna? Am I going to feel like it's dated? I think I could. Two for twenty on retro t-shirts. Go through my link in the Zavi in the description below. The Zavi link below if you want to help out the channel. But let's have a look. Right, the battle this time, guys. Are you ready? Nintendo versus PlayStation. <laughs> right. Okay. So my my first ever console was either a Super Nintendo or a Nintendo sixty four. And you had the cartridges that you put on the top. I can't remember which one it was. But that was my first ever console, and then the first ever console that I properly got as a birthday gift was um, was a uh, 
a PS1 with Spyro. So I've always been a Spyro boy more than Crash Bandicoot. But let's have a look. So Mario versus Crash Bandicoot, Nintendo versus PlayStation. Let's look. Nintendo on innovation. Nintendo wins. On graphical power, PlayStation wins, obviously. <laughs> Nostalgia factor, Nintendo wins. Iconic characters, they are both equal. Right, okay. That's pretty much a draw. Although, I will say I'm more of a PlayStation player than a Nintendo player. I mean, Tommy has a PS4, I've had a PS2, a PS1. So, yeah, if you want to see some gaming videos with the PlayStation, let me know down in the comment section below and I will try and do that. Me and Tommy started playing For Honor the other day. He absolutely loves it. There's new characters on there. So that's pretty cool. But guys, that is the Retro Z-Box. But next month's, next month's, look at it. It is, boom, Heroes. Are you ready? Look, green, 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 green lantern. Looks like a green lantern costume. But it's got the Zabby sign. So let's, green, green Z-Man. <laughs> Heroes, right, so what could be in that? Let's think. Batman, probably. Probably Spider Man and Marvel characters. Yeah, it'll be DC and Marvel. Maybe some Turtles. That's pretty cool. I'm more of a villains guy, but Heroes is pretty cool. So if you want to see that unboxing next month, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for that. What other boxes have I got coming this month? Geek Gear. I had an email today saying that's been shipped, so expect that in the next few days. And then Infinity Crate. So towards the end of the month you'll have that. I did upgrade to Premium. So if you want to see those unboxings, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that is the Z-Box. Uh, I still have, Zavi still have not sent my two special Z-Boxes. I did pre-order the Game of Thrones one. And I did pre-order the Spider-Man one. So if you want to see those special unboxings, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for them. But they are yet to come. Zavi, where are they? <laughs> Put these back on. I've got to look cool for you guys. <laughs> Chill out, you know. All, all cool, confident. <laughs> but guys, that is the Retro Z-Box. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Stay tuned for next unboxings, Geek Gear and Infinity Crates. Um, we have got Logan Lucky coming out in cinemas and American Made coming out in cinemas. But there's none shown near me at the moment. So... If I do get around to seeing them or they do get showings, my local cinemas, I will see them. So stay tuned for those reviews if they come. But the next one I have booked in, I have booked in for it. Day of release, booked in. I have no clients on that day. I've made sure I've got no clients on that day so I can come straight home, review it to you guys because I am so hyped for that. Um, so if you want to see that movie review on Friday the 8th of September, boom, hit subscribe, stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, go check out my previous movie reviews. I did Hitman's Bodyguard. Um, what else did I see? Dark Tower and Annabelle Creation. I've got my pickups to come at the end of the month. So if you want to see everything nerdy I bought this month, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for that, guys. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See you later. <laughs> Told you I was going to smash it. Boom. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back, back, back again, again, again. <laughs> Guys, a big thank you to watching the video. If you liked what you've seen and you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, why not check out some of my other videos? You've got one here, you've got one there, and you've got one there. Guys, go check out those videos, hit subscribe, and see you in the next video.